A very good morning and welcome to Daily Ones here on New Day. My name is George Quinnin. We are live on DSTV Channel 279. This morning, we're still staying on the Achimota Rastafarians Ampas. And as you are aware, there was some sort of, you know, ruling that made the students so, you know, happy. But, you know, the Board of Governors of Achimota want to appeal this very ruling. Let's see how that pans out. So this morning, we are getting some executives of the National Union of Ghana Student and a parent and award. This is Daily Rant. Let's keep talking. Would you say uh, it was so premature for us to, you know, jubilate over the victory of the court ruling? Because, you know, the school still has the stance that they're not taking the student. They want to appeal the court ruling. What, what are your initial thoughts on that? Um, I think it's not premature to celebrate. I think that um, it's great that the Human Rights Court, um, the High Court, has ruled in favor of Tyrone and um, the other, yes. And we would keep celebrating that ruling um, because it's historic. It goes to prove the fact that uh, our laws do not discriminate on basis of religion, on basis of the kind of hair someone keeps and all that, that a person's intellect is not determined by which kind of hair the person has or which religion the person belongs to. That is something worth celebrating and we'll keep celebrating. Um, I agree with uh, what Julius has said. Uh, in per the new constitution, our motto stands that education is a right and not a privilege. For this matter, we stand with Tyrone to make him understand and support him that he needs to enjoy his rights. Uh, Tyron, I want to know what is going on in your mind right now. I know you are privy to the stance of the Board of Governors of the school. What is really going on in your mind? Well, a lot is going on in my mind right now because I have been home for a very long time. And gradually as the days go by, it's, it's like you are losing hope that I, I will be going to school. But definitely I will be going to school because I will not allow that hope to die out. And so I have the hope, but still a lot of things are going on in my mind. But still, I take inspiration from the fact that we are using the 1992 Constitution. Mm -hmm. And besides, we as individuals, we have, we have a sense of moral and we can distinguish right from wrong. So coming out to clearly say that um, if you have dreadlocks, you don't have the right to education. I think your morality should be able to, say, to, to suggest to you that it's not right. And besides, I am the student. I came in there as a student with hopes of acquiring education from once where I thought um, a prestigious um, a facility, but still, I am still home. And I am the one somewhat suffering, even though it's painful though, but I'm still hoping for the best. Yeah. Right, myself, I would say it's not premature to celebrate the court ruling and ourselves in the National Union of Ghana students. We were very glad when we heard the court ruling. At a point, it will be quite imperative that we give the students the opportunity to join his colleagues so that at the end of the day they learn because academic work is ongoing. So it will be very important that we give him the opportunity. We shouldn't disenfranchise him just because of his dreadlocks, but give him the optimum opportunity to also enjoy the staff's um, colleagues are also enjoying from. There's one thing, you guys are not really privy to this. It wasn't just Oheneba and Tyrone that were denied admission. There was another girl, but the girl you know, took the dread off. They cut the dread off. And so I think to simplify things, won't you have that conversation with maybe parents of Tyrone and Ahimba that, okay, they can really follow suit like how the girl took off her dread. And let's just give closure to this. I, I, we shouldn't drag them. I don't think I'll ever do that. Not under any circumstance. It won't happen. Because just like I am from a Christian home and I've lived all my life cutting my hair and I'm so used to it, and I won't keep my hair. Tyron has lived all his life as a Rastafarian, you know, keeping his natural hair. The phenomenon we are not understanding here is that you and me would have Tyron's hair if we kept our hairs like the Caucasians do keep their hairs. For blacks, that is who we are. So for someone to say that, okay, I want to remain in my natural state, keep my hair as it grows, to be denied the, uh, the I mean, opportunity to be educated, because 
he has his natural hair a natural part of him just like his eyes the last time i checked the girl that took off her dread is still alive she's still schooling yes she's alive she's still schooling when she took it off it didn't spoil anything about anybody because it's her choice to do that if tyron keeps it it won't spoil anything about anybody under the constitution 92 article 12 where the rights of people are enshrined in the constitution the only condition under which a person's religious rights or any other right can be suspended is if a the person, by enjoying that right, will infringe on the rights of other people. If, for example, I feel that my religion wants me to kill her as sacrifice, it takes away her right to life. So that should be denied me. Or B, if the enjoyment of that right is not in public interest, mm -hmm. that is, if it's going to cause the public harm, how does Tyron sit in the classroom with a natural part of himself, his hair, deny the public you know, any right or take away the right of any other student in Achimota school or the right of the headmistress or the board of governors. It doesn't in any way do that. So fundamentally, the court, I mean the high court, was right and I agree with them. And I discourage Achimota school from proceeding to, um, you know, the appeals court. I wouldn't want to preempt what the ruling would be, but I really discourage them from doing that. They shouldn't. We have a discussion for, it, for them to take it off. Um, I don't think so because We've seen pictures and uh, videos of other foreigners in Achimota school who have kept. They are not. They are from. You know, it's like an exchange program. I don't. That that was you know talked about. They are not like students from outside on exchange. You know, mission. I come in a little. I was in the Republic of China on an exchange program for that one year that I was in China. I was a student of Taiyuan University of Technology, supposed to abide by all the rules of Taiyuan University of Technology. Why didn't they ask their Asian ladies and gentlemen to cut their hairs before they stay in school? They don't do that there. They get to keep their Asian hairs. The moment the black man gets to keep his African hair, it's a problem. But the Asian can come here with his Asian hair. The Caucasian can come here with his Caucasian hair and keep it in our institutions. Let's get serious. When you open the conversation on the fact that you shave this, it's just for three years, shave it, go to school, and then maybe when you're done, you can continue. What, what would be your impression? Okay, my impression is it's not necessary. Kachimata is a school. I'm going there to learn, not to shave or all those kind of stuff. And Achimata, they are always talking about um, um, being together, unity and cohesion. That they all may be one, not that they all may be identical where you go cutting your hairs and stuff like that. And I went to learn. From JHS where I was, I had my hairs. I was a school prefect or warden on count, uh, countless times. And I proceeded because I had a dream of being someone. I had a dream. And so I proceeded to Achimata because I assumed it's a prestigious institution. They are going to accept. Not like even accept because it's my right. Because when I mean accept, it means they can decide not to. But this time, it's my right. I mean, I qualified. I wrote the BEC with about half a million kids. And so I qualified. So telling me to suspend my religion and come and learn and later go back to my religion, I don't know how to really to conceive that. And then colleague took hers off. So it didn't change anything? I, I Okay, she may have taken it off, but I don't think it's her choice. And there's something wrong over there because she can't possibly take it off on her own will. So my guy, can you join us? You can, you can join us as well. Mr. Magal will just join us. Our feelings haven't changed yet because we know the, um, the judge looked through um, our grievances. And it took really a long time, you know, because it's not a case that took um, just a week or two days. Mm -hmm. We had a really long time yeah. to go through the grievances and uh, arguments before she um, gave that verdict. So um, I don't think Achimota has a great chance of winning again. That is my personal feeling. So it's not a fear. We are not. Um, our feelings haven't changed. We're still happy that we. Mr. Magai, whilst we having this back and forth, Tyrone and Wahineba are still in the household. Yes. Well, um, we're trying that um, they catch up because they're studying, you know. And um, we're also doing this not for our personal interest. Because let's take, for instance, we give Achimota their way. We let them have their way. What about the other um, schools? Schools like um, Fansipim, um, Opokuware, um, Akraka. They are equally quality schools. 
then it means everybody can just say, okay, the court has ruled or the constitution says this, but I'm not going to abide by that. Mm -hmm. And so it's not going to work. Like they are defending that when they allow the child to go to school, other people will come with, like, I believe um, I have to wear just a singlet. The same way other schools too are going to take them as a role model and also, you know, disrespect the constitution and the rules that governs um, the whole nation and the but, Mr. I think I, I would want to start with the fact that if, if we really want to go with this ruling, the floodgates, you know, is open now. So I can also come with my own religion that, okay, in my religion, I have to, you know, take off my shirt. And I should also be accepted. That's what it is. No. Can we be a bit realistic here? Do you know what informs people's choices of what they want to do? For me, as a Christian, you know, a Catholic Christian, I don't think I would want to keep a hair like his own. Mm -hmm. It doesn't automatically mean that I am right and he is wrong. All my life, I've been trained to cut my hair. All his life, he's been trained to keep his hair. If I was the one in this situation, I don't think my parents will go defending me because already that is how they've been indoctrinated to believe that I'm supposed to cut my hair. So we would never have a situation where everybody automatically becomes Rastafarians and start keeping hairs. It won't happen, not in Ghana. And we won't have a situation where traditionalists all of a sudden would start masquerading there. You know, you heard about the Peki guy that was also denied admission. Yes. You know, they decided not to take it on. On, I mean, to the extent that the law favors them, to the extent that they have taken it on, we will support them, and that's what we are doing. So at the end of the day, let's be, I mean, making considerations as harmlessly as possible. Let's not go to the extremes of possibilities and assume things. If we are supposed to assume the worst of everything, the moment situations come back, we will never make progress. I'm telling you, you would never get other people who are Christians or non-Rastafarians who want to keep their hairs and their parents, we won't have that happening in Ghana. It won't happen. As a, fa as a father, how far will you go with this issue? Yeah, well, um, we're waiting to see what Atmota is going to do, whether they're going to redraw or they will keep on. And when they still um, take it to the court, then we are waiting. Because I'm not a lawyer, but we have people who are competent and who knows what to do. So we will just wait on that and see how far they can take it, you know. This morning we engaged, you know, executives of the National Union of Ghana Students and uh, a parent and a ward. We all know about the, you know, this very issue, the fact that, you know, the Board of Governors of the institution, you know, are appealing the court ruling. Let's see how this pans out in ensuing days. My name is George Quinney. Thanks for watching and do have a good morning.